the dancer at my channel and today on a popular request I will be doing my tips for you on how to do a reverse body roll now yes a reverse body roll is mostly known for bachata sensual but you can incorporate this reverse body roll to be honest in any kind of dancing so stick around i will be making some nice tips for you and demonstrating of course and also if you haven't learned how to do a normal body roll yet i do recommend to go to the description box below there's going to be a video linked to the body rolls I do think it is important to learn the body roll so that you would actually understand the reverse body roll. So go to description, look at the body roll. If you know it, stick around and we're gonna reverse. Alrighty, here we go. So the first thing that I think is important to say is the reverse body rolls mostly not always but most of the time happens after a normal body roll hence why i said go to my description box and learn body roll first anywho so when you do a body roll in an angled position you immediately end up with the booty out yes if you have a booty out you can do a reverse body roll yes if you don't have a booty out the reverse body roll is not going to happen because it does start from the booty going forward. So I guess my most important tip to start with is to remember that the reverse body roll has to happen from the booty, hence the starting position is booty out, yes? And another really important point in this position is if you notice my back, can you, can you see? My back is straight. A lot of the times, people take their back forward as soon as the booty comes out or they don't finish the booty out so the back is backwards. Make sense? What we want is once that booty comes out, our back still maintains straight. So then when we start isolating our body parts, it's more visual, it looks better and you can control it much better as well. So, if you do a body roll, it starts from once you're already there and if not you are supposed to go down as normal and then still you have the booty out the back is straight and then you're gonna start your reverse body roll so that's kind of the starting position now that we know how to start the reverse body roll let's get our technique let's break it down basically okay step by step so imagine you did already a body roll or you just went down and our starting position is angled booty out back straight and if you notice my um i really hope you can see my uh, right leg in this scenario is on the toe like on the ball of the foot it's not flat because it's dead i need some support and the other leg another foot is facing this way not that way because it's hard to maneuver yeah you're losing balance so my um at the moment the left foot is facing you right foot is facing that way and booty out back straight here i'm comfortable you could do exactly the same to the other direction this is not a rule right so then it would be the right leg facing you and then the left leg here booty out back straight make sense i started from here so i'm gonna continue so now once we have this position okay we start first with our booty we're going forward okay now once you're doing the booty make sure you don't actually come up you do kind of like a michael jackson move where your pelvis goes forward but your body doesn't then after that you start pushing with your stomach forward then a little bit more and naturally your back starts leaning backwards very good then the chest can go a little bit forward and we always finish with our shoulders in the main position now depending what you want to do it depends whether you're going to finish completely forward or you're going to finish just there on the spot 
It doesn't matter, it really depends what you're gonna do next. But most important thing, that from the bent knee position, you end up in a straight knee position, okay? So I break it down one more time. I am down, booties out, I'm doing Michael Jackson. <sighs> then I start pushing my stomach forward, my back slightly leans back, and then the chest goes last, shoulders to pick up, and here we are. So I'll do it from this position, actually, so you can see it better, okay? So now, Michael Jackson, through the stomach, through the chest, shoulders last. That's kind of like breaking it away. Pelvis first, then the stomach, then the chest, then the shoulders. We want it to be gradually and melted together, of course. Now that we broke down the actual reverse border roll, I'm gonna leave you with a couple of pointers, okay, that I think happens like a common thing as a mistake. Uh, one of them is the pelvis, when you're doing it forward, a lot of the times you're raising your body up. The most important thing is when you're doing the first movement is not to do this. Can you see? If you're already up, there's not a lot to do left with the upper body. So it kills that smooth wave from down upwards. So always make sure when you do your first pelvis, it's literally underneath you. Yes, it's a contraction here, but don't come up. So that's one, one thing that I see happen a lot of the times that kind of interrupts the flow of reverse body roll. The other thing that is really important is to do it slow. The more control you feel over your body, the more likely you're gonna train it well, and then, of course, it's immediately gonna be in your muscle memory, and you're gonna pick it up. If you're gonna rush through it, and you're gonna try to do it quickly, if your body is not a trained body, it won't be able to do it, hence you will feel awkward doing it, you will not understand why is this not happening to you, and you will give up. But if you do really slowly and you actually go through all the points that I just mentioned, it will get better. And then you can speed it up. You can do slow and faster. Now, the point number three that is super duper important, again, I see this all the time, don't push your body forward. Don't finish with your head, okay? Like forward. Watch what I mean. You're doing reverse body and you're going, yes? I don't know what this is, but I see this all the time. You're going, Meow. that extra part is an extra part that shouldn't be happening. <laughs> it shouldn't be happening. You think the body, the reverse body roll? Stop. <laughs> don't go, huh, right? Just don't do it, okay? So think about it. If you feel like you're slightly going forward, think maybe you are one of those, yes? and then try to eliminate this situation. Because in general, most of the time, if you do it in bajata, you're gonna do it with a partner. And if you do it with a partner, you are together pretty close. So every time you're doing this, your partner that is behind or in front of you is going as well, like, you know, it's, it's not good. So try to keep in mind that extra motion here should not be happening. So that's kind of like extra three points that you could look out for. And if, if it's not happening when you're breaking down, try to think. Maybe I'm coming up with my pelvis too quickly. Maybe I'm doing something extra there that makes me feel weird. Or maybe I'm just doing it too fast and my body hasn't trained enough yet and I need to give it just a little bit more. Finally, I'm gonna leave you with a little bit of a bonus move. Bonus extra on the move <laughs> that we are talking about. And this is for the followers only. Guys, if you're leading, this is not for you. This is if you're following and you wanna do something extra. And again, this is more like a styling thing. So not always in the partner work, this will be something that you'll be able to do, okay? So don't, don't think that this is what you can do every single time. But sometimes as a styling thing in certain occasions, you can definitely try and use your head 
tilting it backward, using it as the last thing to come up after your reverse bar draw. So, bonus move. You do your reverse bar draw, you go through all the parts, and then when the shoulders are coming back, you tilt your head to make sure that that's the last thing that's coming up. So it would look something like this. So it gives that extra motion and then of course, you know, you can do it with the arms as well or something, but that's just like extra, 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 right? But if you want, you can use your head as the last thing that's coming up. So that's kind of like a bonus thing for you, for the followers to practice your styling and know how you into it. And yeah, it's a nice one. And uh, just be careful with your neck. Don't do it really sudden. Uh, protect yourself because you might pull something. Just do it nice and gentle to start with, especially if you haven't warmed up. And there you go. It is your bonus. This is it. We have learned how to do a reverse body roll. Well, <laughs> We have uh, tried to learn. Hopefully, if you haven't learned just yet, hopefully all of these tips that I gave you, how I broke them down, it will help you to at least have an idea of what to practice. Of course, nothing is as good as to be in an actual class where people can, where teachers can actually tell you specifically what you're doing incorrect or what you could improve on. But it's something, it's better than nothing, right? Um, practice guys that's the only thing you need to do open this video now and then give it a go and then with time it will get better now remember to have more videos you need to subscribe to my channel <laughs> I do need subscriptions to keep going with my motivation and also there is apparently a bell that you can ring to get notified for the videos and there's going to be many more coming your way so make sure you ring that bell as well somewhere there in the corner and guys of course i most most of my videos i make because of your comments so if there's anything specific that you would like to learn please leave a comment below i will have a look i'll make sure to respond and i will make the next video for you the way you want it to be. Thank you guys very much. Subscribe and I will see you pretty soon.